Okay, so any discussion of distributed applications inevitably leads to the web. So LabVIEW 8.6 introduced the ability to publish RESTful web services, providing a way to pass data to and from a VI over the web using just a URL. Our customers use Flash or JavaScript to create applications that run in a browser and communicate with their hardware using these web services. Okay, so, so our, our LabVIEW customers today, if they want to write a web application, they have to use something like Flash or JavaScript? That's what we've been working on. A way to create thin clients that run on the web and interface with web services created using LabVIEW 2009. So let's begin by describing the hardware setup we have here on stage. So we have part of a wind turbine that's connected to an NI Compact Rio device. The C Rio is reading vibration and velocity data from the turbine and writing this to a web service that was created using LabVIEW 2009 and that's been pre-deployed to the C Rio. Since we're a little bit short on wind on stage, we also have the C Rio turning the turbine. Finally, we have a touch panel application here that will control the speed of the turbine. With the new web capabilities that we've been working on, our customers can create the panel they want and then access it from any browser with zero download or install. So let's go ahead and bring up the thin client that we created for today's demo. So all I need to do is open a new browser window and then navigate to the application that is being served up by the c -Rio itself. Then, in a matter of seconds, it is up and running without any installation necessary. So taking a closer look at our panel here, you can see we have the vibration data as well as turbine velocity, and this is read using web services. The windmills spinning in the background are images that we've applied a rotation animation to, and we also configured the rotation speed to match that of the turbine velocity. Mike, could you speed up the turbine using the touch panel, please? You say you want me to supply some wind? <laughs> a little bit. Okay. All right, so in a couple of seconds, you'll notice that the windmills start to spin faster, the speed gauge begins to enter the red zone, and there are spikes on the graph caused by the um, increased turbine speed. We also have a custom status indicator here that is turned on to indicate the blade imbalance. Mike, could you go ahead, go ahead and slow it back down now? We're going to start from scratch here and create a subset of this application we just saw right here on stage. So we just need to install the editor. Malcolm, can you bring up the editor? Wow, you just installed software on our computer? That's right, so the editor is installed in the browser and is ready to go with zero download like you just saw. So let's go ahead and create a new VI. Here's our palette of front panel controls. And for this demo, the first control we're gonna need is a gauge to display the velocity of the wind turbine. Now, we do need to change the scale of this gauge, which is easily done by selecting the control and changing its properties right there in the ribbon. The next control we're going to need is a power switch so we can turn off the turbine when our demo is done. You can just switch the theme using the drop down in the ribbon. This makes all your controls get reskinned automatically, and you can switch between them until you get the look you want for your control. Okay, so to communicate with the hardware, the first thing we need to do is add a new web service reference. And over here, we just enter the address of the c -Rio device on stage because that's where this service is being hosted right now. This gives us back a list of all the web services available on c -Rio, and we pick the one we want for this demo. As soon as Malcolm hits update, you'll see that the project tree gets automatically updated with a reference to our web service. So now let's go back to our VI and go over to the block diagram. This web service function can conveniently be dropped as a sub-VI onto our diagram. And now the next thing we're going to need from our palette is a while loop to enclose all these nodes. And now all that's left is the wiring. Okay, so let me, let me, let me ask a question while he's wiring this up. Is it, is it basically just LabVIEW running in a browser? Well, Mike, it doesn't have the full functionality of LabVIEW, but is instead focused on creating these thin client applications that run in a browser like the one we saw earlier and can be used to remotely monitor or control applications. So it looks like Malcolm's all done with the wiring here, so let's give it a run. And the gate starts to update, so Mike, could you speed it up again okay. for us? Wow, and there we go, live thin client so we, web application. Yep. Um, Very and nice. so finally, we should probably use the kill switch to turn it off so you can hear the rest of the keynote. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.